Welcome back, everybody. Hope right, we'll have an awesome day. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be pretty cool. What's going on here? Right, okay. Uh, one other thing I forget I failed to mention, because yes, it was a failure to mention. Um, these eventually, at some point, will need to get paused. This also isn't enough of them. Because uh, these guys don't monitor their own, um, what do you call it, reproduction. Uh, the other, in the other map, the other guys, the folk tales, they would only reproduce when there was space for them. In this game, the iron, the iron teeth, I don't think it works that way. Um, I'm pretty sure I had, in my test map, which was like a few weeks ago, I had six of these, and it was way too much. I ended up with a whole ton of unemployed. But that being said, we're going to need unemployed, so... Also, we need this. Right, we need one more plank. And then we'll put our industry... Hmm, good question. Where do we put it? I'm thinking over here. We chuck a bunch of water wheels in, and we chuck it over here. It'd be cool to put it up here eventually. That's kind of, that'd be kind of my idea. Because what I want to do is, I want to do this. Obviously, we'll use this, not this one, but... I want to utilize the water flow through this thing. And maybe cut it down a bit. Maybe? Because I don't know what the flow is, but I'm assuming this here. So it's, it's what, four, five squares? How much, how much is it? One, two, three, four, five. So five. But if we were to put the water wheels in, say, a section that has seven... The water flow is going to be less in this area than it is right here. You can actually kind of see it. Look. See how quickly the water's flowing here, but how slowly it's flowing here? That's because these four or five blocks, these five blocks, are now moving out into a much larger space. So the flow is less. So whatever we do, we need to make our flow less than five. Well, if we dam it, uh, we're gonna, definitely going to dam it. We're going to put a dam in right here. Um... Yeah, getting the power up is going to be kind of a bother. Although we then could put another dam down here, couldn't we? Bring the water level right up. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see what you guys say. But right now we need to focus on food and wood. Because we are going to run out of both. So let's chuck one of these right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like my straight, my main straight roads? <laughs> Just wait, the zigzags are coming. Oh, they're coming. They'll probably be around this corner as well. <laughs> they're on their way. Oh god, we did, yeah, that's up. Good. Do we have someone in there? No, we don't have enough people, not enough beavers. Alright, so what has no, no, what, no one working in it? Is that what this means? Yes. It is the Forester and the Lumberjack flag. That's fine, because we will stop this one eventually. Oh, damn it. Does he need a tooth grinder? I think he needs a tooth grinder. <laughs> and we need to start another house as well. This is not enough. But they cost 40 wood. A lot more expensive than the other, um, folk, than the folk tales. Okay. Still on wood cutting? Yep, good. Uh, right, let's plant, let's plan this out. We're gonna want berries. How far can you go? Oh, hello. You can go all the way up there. Alright, let's do a strip of blueberries. Two strips. That should be enough to keep that those running. I love the new storage system. Oh, and I'll, I think there's diff different aesthetics now, isn't there? Like, all this stuff looks different. Like, the path? I'm sure the path looks different. Uh, and then here we'll put just normal trees. How far off are you? Damn, that's getting close. Oh, we've got some carrots. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if we should put in another farmhouse. Can't really utilize it, but... I'm thinking... Normally I would put in the maples. They take the longest to grow, but they give the most wood per day. 
in terms of a ratio. Because we're going to want, I mean, 30 days is a long time to wait for wood. So let's do half that. Nine days for one is ridiculous. Hmm. We'll go with pine. I mean, it's, it's the same ratio. It's just you get chestnuts out of it, of course. We'll plant that. Plant that. Yeah. Because at least when the drought starts, we will have the ability to keep growing the trees and these, these things. Uh, I'm tempted to leave the carrots for now until we really get a nice stack of potatoes. Although the potatoes are coming. Let's do it. Let's swap them out for spuds. Beautiful. Alright, then we get the grilled potatoes. Nice. Yeah, we just need a couple more beavers and we're good. Because then they still need to grow up. 22 more wood for that. Alright, we'll definitely get that out of these two. So let's... Let's let him finish this off. There is another one there. Oh, good. Let's let him do that. Then we'll pause this building. And he'll run off, hopefully, over to here. Good man. Oh, good beaver. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. There's my beaver. <laughs> I refrain from making the jokes. I really should, should I? Because it'd be funny, but... <laughs> Gotta keep it PG. This is YouTube. Although, I am over on Rumble, too. So if you're over on Rumble, hey, how are you? Can you tell me how that bloody platform works? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I was live streaming to it yesterday and today. And it only like keeps the first two hours. I don't understand. All right, anyway, back to this. All right, we'll chop this down. All right, wicked. Couple with board, nice. Growing up, good. Oh, as long as we can keep ahead of it. Oh, man. I think I did pretty well this time around. So 12 days for the plant to grow. Then another 12 to get three berries out of it. And we need a total of, what, six berries for all of these? Yeah. So two bushes per run. At the moment. And what I'll do is I'll probably build them in threes. Odd number. I know. Too bad. This is also bad. Let's do this first. No, no, shit, we're out of, we're completely out of food. Oh no, we're not. I'm looking at the wrong thing entirely. I was looking at this one. Going, ah, we're running out. But no, 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 we're good. I want them to plant the berries. For, uh, the, the, sorry, the... I want them to plant them first so they can be growing while they're cutting them down. Alright, the next house is done. Perfect. Alright, not a bad start, guys. Not a bad start. However, I think we need to plan it. We need to plan this out, right? So, whoop. Also, that's a dumb place for that, but never mind. I like this, though. This is awesome. This is how they've solved that storage is full problem. I think they all do the same thing. You have to pick what goes in. I don't know whether or not they are, have an option for limits. Wait, we can find out because I haven't set this at all. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. So I can only hold that. All right, let's swap that to normal potatoes. Bread, uh, raw good potatoes. I just realized we got those storage for potatoes or grilled potatoes. Oh, we got those storage for grilled potatoes. That's the kind of, that's the one thing I'm finding annoying about this. Is that I used to split it into 100 of one and 100 of the other, yeah? Was, uh, I think that this could hold 200. Now there's none of that. Now you need one, one uh, warehouse building for every type of item. That's a bit much, man. 
However, it does enable better control. Speaking of um, storage, water, they also made these a one by one. Yeah, instead of a, a two by one. And the larger ones apparently no longer have that funny L shaped connection in them. Uh, where the bloody hell am I going to put it? Put two of them there. So, maple syrup, medicine, or water? Um, so where do you store the biofuel? Try oh, you don't have a biofuel. That's right, we do this, don't we? Power. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah! Dude, I never got to this stage before. Oh, that's going to be new to me. Cool, man. Oh, it's neat. Right, how much do we need for the um, this thing? Oh, we got it. Let's grab it. Whoa. Oh. It's too deep. <laughs> Get it? It goes down two levels. Oh, and it needs to... Okay. Oh, wait, what? Would that work? Like, on oh, the waterfall? Would that actually work? Probably not, eh? The water doesn't really flow through that tile. That's... Okay, so we have to build up to build this. Is it too high or is that three high? Uh, it's too high. Interesting. Hang on. Right, so effectively it's a two, two deep, three wide. And it can connect onto itself, I hope. Don't mind me, game. I'm being weird. How do I get it on there? Okay, maybe I can't. Okay, this is going to be interesting. That means we need to unlock levees. And then we need to... Man, this is going to be interesting to try and figure it out. Okay, cool. I like it. Uh, one extra person. Uh, one extra beaver. Got the trees down. Awesome. We've got the berries in. We've got... Yeah, okay. Cooking with Gaius. You. Grilled potatoes. That's bread. Grilled potatoes. I like this. Tells you when your storage of the item is full. That is bloody cool. I like it. I like it a lot. <coughs> Alright, the only thing we're going to really have to worry about here is that we pump out too much of this water. So once we've cut most of this down, I'm going to plan on a dam. I'm thinking... Like that. To hold all the water in back here. Because then we could move the farms down this down into here perhaps a little bit more instead of having this one here we move this into here could do that where is our nearest metal it's back here isn't it it's also mine which is rather convenient okay um all right let's plan on removing all of this as well uh what straight through here i don't like that it leaves one square on the side but never mind Okay, I think we get a couple more inventors now. Really help boost our uh, tech along. Put one there. Put one there. Uh, done for the kinky road. <laughs> right. Takes a full. 150 odd water for 14 people. 14 beavers. 17. That's not enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not enough, is it? Uh, it'll be enough with the pumps running. I think we'll be fine. I'm watching the water level drop. So yeah, this, this as far as I'm, I'm concerned, this is the correct build order and move strategy for Helix. Quickly as you can, grab a farm, grab the forester, and a dam. Those three things will save your life. 
Um, we have no plank storage, so we'll only ever hold 13, right? That could be a cool way of actually um, monitoring it still. Because you can hold... Okay. Yeah, so that can hold all, the, all those materials. No night. Off to sleepy buys. Good night, guys. I'm going to pause these. Go through the barrels of water a bit quicker. We've got two days of the drought left, and I'm too afraid that we're going to take too much water out of here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Okay, so food is sorted for a while. Uh, we have... Wait, I did... Oh, four unemployed. I thought we were saying three homeless. We need to start building up, don't we? 70 wood. And I only add six extra beds. I'm sorry, what? Interesting. So well, that's like an apartment building. All right, let's grab another one of these. Uh, that sounds kind of cool. Man, I'd love to be able to stick it on top, but I didn't leave enough room for a stairwell, did I? No. Almost. If that wheel wasn't there, we could do a 2 by 3 quite easily enough. Oh. Um. Let's, let's do this. Let's do it over here. Do we even have the stuff? No, we don't. We're going to unlock it all. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> We'll just put a road in. I knew there was a reason I hadn't done it. <laughs> Almost gone through all that wood. Oh, yes. Now we've got two inventors. Good. Now we'll really start cranking that up. Okay, what we're going to unlock first. We need the levy, don't we? Oh, do we? Could we just unlock this? I mean, these need planks, so <clears throat> that's going to chew through our wood. So let's try and avoid that for a second. Now that I've you know, gone and unlocked it, that was kind of dumb. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll just do a two by. So we'll put one there, one there, one there. Then that one goes up. Then the next set of stairs goes on that. Then we go around the corner, right? Yeah. No. We need to start back one. Can we put it there? You go like this, and then you go. Like that. Just a two by three stairway. We can't put this over those stairs, though, because we need that one. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of that. We just got rid of the path, didn't we? Yep. Dan's a dummy. <clears throat> Don't worry, we got it. We got it in the end. Okay, yes. That will work. Three unemployed because we turned those off. Oh, we turned them back on. Drought's over. I love it. Alright. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot we're building this as well. Can they reach? Yep, good. Because there's no road there, so they're not going to be able to reach it anyway. However, we'll get one close enough in preparation. Once they cut these trees down, we can finish that road off. Still out of range? Good. That way the wood will actually build up. Well, I don't know where. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so the storage actually has nothing in it yet. It's got two. Ah, yeah, it has two. Okay, cool. So you can actually see the buildings and the stuff is stored in. Neat, man. That's neat. Far out. That's cool, lads. Alright, potatoes. I love how we just don't, we never really have many raw potatoes. <laughs> I don't think we can cut them down quick enough. 
What are we going to do for 10 minutes? We have unlocked these. Let's start planning the power out. Um, I want you so far away they won't even think of building it. Well, I'll work out the right size and ratios for everything. That's intense. Would this work better <clears throat> if it's in like too deep water? Too deep water. <laughs> Right? It needs to be deeper, doesn't it? What do you guys produce? 180, 40. Although, maybe not. Alright. <clears throat> Test in time. Let's find out. But you need 80 planks? 80? Alright, we're going to start with the little ones. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's start with the little water wheels first. Jeez, I didn't realize, I didn't actually notice that 80 planks. Pfft, far out. Um, storage area access. Alright, let's put it here. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. Build a set of stairs leading straight down there. Maybe from here. Yeah. Access road for the beavers. Okay. Let me need to look at the power bars and so forth and so on. Connection, power connection there. Ah, oh, that's a dumb place for that. Let's go there and then put it there. That way we can go up and down. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want is lumber. Uh, we could put it there. No, let's, let's leave enough room for some kind of access if we need to. Put in a couple of you, three of you for now. <clears throat> it should be enough. No! In case we want to jump over this to get out the back of it. So we might just put buildings on the back and run a road through the middle or around the outside. <clears throat> we can't be uh, fancy about it just yet. Alright, let's build these first. What do you mean it's too far? Oh, they haven't built this. Yep, and then we can look at getting an actual storage for planks. Maybe one of these. Put it. Man, it'd be cool if I'd put them on top, eh? <clears throat> we need to look at doing something like that, because that, that'd be really cool. Um, just trying to think the best place for the storage for the stuff that comes out of here. I mean, that seems like a waste, doesn't it? But so does that. Uh, put it there. <laughs> just in case we want to build some kind of like steps over the top right all right let's get a wood storage as well perhaps um, what do you look like i do like that and it's solid too hmm Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. How much do you hold? 180. Um, well, ideally, it needs to be connected to these guys, doesn't it? All right, hang on. What if we were to go... Yeah, let's do it like this. There or there? I'm thinking there. Or there. We need a ladder to get up here. Or rather, stairs. I don't know. 
If we don't like it, we can always tear it down because now we get our parts back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's also like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. There's also like beaver law or something they said stashed on the map somewhere. And said, who can be the first to find it? I have no idea what the bloody hell they're talking about. Was it going to be like a dead beaver or like a book laying around you to click on it or... You have to build a building and access a, certain, access a particular part of the map. So if you know, let me know down below. <laughs> and of course that was all meant to rhyme. Because yeah, I don't really see anything uh, that stands out to me that, that doesn't look like it shouldn't be there, you know? Right, so how much power do you produce, mate? Okay, not bad, not bad. These things will be ready soon, won't they? Oh, oh, oh they are ready. Alright, let's open you then. You can reach all the way up here too? Good. Let's put more pine trees in here. And we'll build our, like, step thing up to this from up here, uh, in here, I think. We need a lot more planks and stuff for that, though. Some more tech would be good too. Because ideally, I'd love to get to this. I mean, yeah, but it needs the middle blocks, so we have to get to the middle first. And we still need gears, uh, which we don't need just yet, thankfully. We'll work on the planks, get the power, at least get this bit running. Then we'll look at our. Uh, an extended power system inside this. It sounds pretty cool. To figure out the right way to use those big wheels, though. Because, like, when you think about it, and I'm pretty sure the game represents this, if, if the water hits the bottom... Quick pause. When the water hits... It, it, how it works is the water hits this thing and makes it move, right? So the lower the water level and the quicker it moving, the faster this spins, right? But if the water's moving at the same speed and the water's higher, this doesn't spin as fast. Because not only does, I mean, this is how it would work in real life. Because not only, I mean, the speed's hitting this at a higher place, yeah? So it's not, I mean, granted, more of the water's moving, moving it. But it, it's, it, it moves less far when you're hitting it higher than if you're hitting it down at the bottom. But then there's also more water for it to resist against. I don't know if the game represents all that. Or if it's just like a calculation of, it's one tile, it's this high. Half a tile, it's this much. I'm not sure how it's represented. And I probably would never know. The only way to sort of figure it out is to do this and then build it differently. And we will figure that out once we get the, uh, the larger water wheels, especially up here. Because we'll put some down here and we'll see how they how much power they generate. Then we'll put them in here and put them up two tiles high. Let's see how much they generate then. Finish that off. This is a lot of work. Oh, crap. <laughs> of course, I forgot to do this. Yep. Alright, let's see how our population goes between now and the next episode and we'll see if this number keeps increasing or if it stays a bit stagnant that's not bad these only need 50 right mm, yeah so currently we've got enough to run five of these so maybe what we'll do is we'll prioritize you you and you and then we can close this down Alright, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Ooh, so sorry about that, guys. Oh, I've been at this all day. I was in like a four and a half hour stream, maybe five hours. Can't remember how long it was earlier. Then I just recorded an Against the Storm video. If you haven't seen that game, that game is friggin' fantastic. It doesn't have the, you know, the, the nuance of the building like this game does. But it's got some, it's like a city builder with a bunch of unique mechanics. It's quite fun. 
video on the channel. Check it out. <laughs> Came out before this one. <laughs> uh, right, but I, either that, I think we might leave this one here. So the, the next project, unless you guys say differently and come up with a better uh, idea and solution than me, is we get up here and we dam this off with an overflow spill gate thing. So we can control the water flow because this uh, is eventually not going to be enough for us. Um, I'm not sure whether we keep this dam. I'm thinking we will. So we can pump the water out of here if we need to. And we'll start building um, maple trees over here. And seeing if we can't get to this. I don't think we can. I think we're too far away. While we work towards this thing up here. Because we'll need another district for this. But that should probably be our next destination. After this. Because uh, we're going to need the metal for the diner. So that we can actually make... There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, we're going to need the um, the diner so we can clear some of this out. Make it a bit better. Make, even make a pool, perhaps. So we've got more water. Because these, if I read correctly, they go down six tiles. Not two. or What was the other one? Three or whatever. Six. So, yeah. We can make a nice giant pool that's really deep. And just throw a bunch of those on it. It'll hold a ton of water. Seeing as the evaporation in this game works on surface area, like it does in other games. So, the smaller the pool and the deeper, the better. Alright guys, leave this one here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Tips, comments, suggestions down below. And if you want to help the channel out, there are links in the description. Anything helps. But either way, I'll see you in the next one.